Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I finally made it to Lagos, Nigeria. Today has been a day. Okay, let me just put this down because I am rushing. I definitely have a whole event that I need to be at right now. Woo, the last uh, 12 hours or 24 hours have been insane. Last we spoke, I was in Ghana. So if you guys didn't watch my Ghana vlog, Check it out. Oh my goodness. We ended up going out after Sky Bar. We went to um, Bondi for that Amapiano night. And then we ended up just staying up uh, up until our flight. I heard something. And then went home. Everything at the airport was such an issue. We didn't get our COVID test in time. Like it just wouldn't come. Uh, tip, don't get your COVID test anywhere else but, the, but at the airport. Your girl is tired, but at this point, I'm running on adrenaline because I can't even go to sleep. So this makeup tip has been so helpful. So just powdering the face before, spraying with the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. It's very expensive, but it's really, really good. Powder, set, foundation, set, rest of your makeup, set. I'm just gonna get ready, get dressed. We just ordered food from um, Buka. Ooh, my head is itching. That should be coming soon. And then we head off and hit the ground running. So I'll keep y'all updated. Moments later. Finally ready. I'll show you guys the full outfit in a second, but we got some food from Buka. Let's have something in our stomach before we leave. I just realized something, guys. My favorite black bag that I wore like every day while I was in Ghana. I'm pretty sure I, I lost it. <laughs> it's not in any of my luggages. Thank God I have two backups liners here because i would have been pissed this is my outfit i'm headed to um cheese style brunch i think i'm a little late so we gotta go bye <laughs> oh whoa is this what we're doing wow is this who we are Morning. Hello, hello. Welcome back to my vlog, okay? I feel like I have not been the best vlogger here in Nigeria, but I'm gonna change that today, okay? So it's actually been a few days since I've been here in Nigeria, but when I say we've just been going, 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 going. I'm tired and I just couldn't be bothered to pick up a camera and explain what was happening because we were rushing to everything I feel like um, I've kind of like got my bearings a little bit because today's Thursday. I got here on oh wow I got here on Tuesday <laughs> What Tuesday Wednesday. I only got here two days ago it's only been two days. When I say I have gone to more events in the last two days than I have in the last six months. Oh my God. This is this is definitely one thing about like Lagos in December, or at least for me. I mean, everyone's experience is gonna be different, of course, but like it tends to be very busy. There is always events. So it tends to just kind of be like, go, go, go. And if you are any, if you like partake in nightlife culture, then you know that Lagos nightlife like is actually unmatched. And I don't know how people do it, but I've been kind of doing it. Like they just keep going. They keep going from one club to the next club to the next club. You get home 7 a.m. But I haven't been getting home at 7 a.m. I haven't had a 7 a.m. night. I don't plan to, I don't want to, you know? I kind of just want to rest. So yeah, so yesterday there was like a beach day, but we were out all night and I, my thing for me is like, at this point in my life, there's just no point in me doing things that I actually don't want to do or my body doesn't want to do. So I said, I cannot go to the beach day again. I didn't go to the beach, even though I would have loved to go to the beach, but I'm here for like a week. So I don't find time to go to the beach, you know? I kind of just want to sit and just relax. So that's what I did yesterday, which was really nice. Turns out, I thought I lost my charger, this one right here, but I didn't. So itinerary for today because there's yet another itinerary. What's planned? Okay, so PVO, PVO is a platform. They have parties and events um, back in New York. DC, tri-state area. They're having a brunch and an after party today and they invited me. So they're having a brunch today with just like a few artists and just like people within the industry. So I'm gonna attend that. I'm also gonna attend their um, after party, which is the nice thing is that all of this is daytime, which is great. I can do daytime. The nighttime, I'm tired. I can't do it no more. Those two events, 
the brunch and the after party is what I'm gonna be doing today and then I'm gonna come home and I pray that I'm in my bed by 12 a.m. because I can't no more. No, this is not my life. <laughs> Since I'm traveling during a pandemic, I feel like it's important that I actually kind of talk about my experience with traveling during the pandemic, especially to Nigeria. I shared a few things um, that I had to do while I was in Ghana. And if you guys haven't checked out the Ghana vlog, definitely check it out. This is actually really good. It's really affordable too. And with it having a fragrance in it, I'm actually really surprised, but Wait, is there fragrance? Usually my skin doesn't like fragrance, but with this product, it doesn't mind it. Yeah, I think it's important to talk about just like, uh, you know, what I've kind of been going through or just the climate of traveling during the pandemic because I mean it could seem all willy-nilly, you know, everyone is in Nigeria and Ghana woo, 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 woo. But like honestly, it's important to share the real too and know that this is ghetto, okay? Everyone absolutely has their own choice and you know people like me were choosing to travel cool But it's gonna come with some consequences, okay? COVID is spreading really bad over here. I mean, for me, I'm definitely like a little worried. I, I'm not gonna sit here and lie and be like, I'm not worried, I'm good. No, I'm a little worried for sure. Um, I am gonna go to the East after this, so I definitely have to take a COVID test before I travel to the East because I'm gonna go see my grandma, I'm gonna see other people, and I would hate to be that person to, you know, bring, come on, bring virus. To my family my 85 year old grandmother absolutely not and my thing is like the covid tests here are so expensive at least in the u.s girl if you need a covid test it's free go you know go get your covid test here you have to pay and it's not cheap it doesn't make any sense but i know i'm, I'm gonna have to buy the bullet and definitely get a covid test for before i go to the east it's not required but I just think, you know, I know I'm gonna be around other new people, my village, and I would, I'm not bringing this here, there. No, that's rude. <laughs> that's really rude. I'm about to do my makeup. Jen is on her way over here, and then we should be heading out to the PVO brunch. Don't mind the fact that my uh, concealer isn't done yet, but look who it is! Oh my god, it's a roomy reveal! <laughs> okay guys, so I don't think you guys have ever met um, Numi. Yeah, no, they haven't been, no. you have never been on my vlog. No. So this is Numi, guys. In Utah when we were sliding down the- Oh, in Utah, place. yes, yes, yes. If you watch the okay. Utah vlog, <laughs> then you definitely met Numi before, but if yeah. not, this is Numi. Hello, guys. She's a lovely woman based <laughs> in New York City. We're just getting ready to go where? 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 I mean, I'm gonna try and get ready to promise. But <laughs> brunch vibe. Numi's like, I'm so tired. I don't I'm think I'm so gonna make tired, it. I'm tired, guys. I'm still in my pajamas and bonnet. <laughs> like, look at me. And I'm it is not ready. almost 3 p.m. Like, I told you guys, like, it's a lot. It's like back to back to back to back. And we've only been here a few days. I've That's been here for two days. days. I feel like I've been here a week. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I have like been, I've been here, here for two days. And I'm like, it's crazy. It's crazy. So Numi actually got us a cook. Yes. Um, for this Airbnb and she has a driver now. Yeah. And let me tell y'all something. Great idea. Mm-hmm. Great idea. I think every trip that I'm gonna do now, yeah. that's what I'm gonna have. If I'm not staying with family. Yeah, exactly. Because it will end up running you more money to like, cause these restaurants are expensive. And these restaurants like, are so expensive. Birds? actually end up spending more ubers yeah. yeah 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 and like i was telling you for me it's just like natural because when i'm here with my family they always have a driver they always have a cook yeah everything. and it's more convenient yeah and just a nice way to look at it like you're actually creating jobs for people while this you're is here true. this is true so that's why i also kind of do it give someone money that probably is like in, yeah at their village and yeah like that and no it's so true yeah. plus like honestly like like i said we've been going out every day yeah. having just like breakfast yeah. lunch you know what i mean and not having to scour for food everywhere there's a curfew right now here so after 12 a.m you can't get an uber or like a bolt yeah um which i actually didn't even know when i, I didn't know either because i have been on like i remember when i came for a work trip here i literally used ubers for the time being and me then too. they would drive me yeah so it was easier yeah so it's very inconvenient if you're trying to go out at night yeah. um you have to use there's an app that you can use in driver it's basically like you kind of bid for rides, but it's still like annoying. Yeah. Like, you know, you're, and then your driver's waiting for you, you know. That's just 
a tip, an idea if that's something you want to do, especially if you're like new here, it'll probably be best to have someone that can just move you around easily. And honestly, then you also have like people that can like, do little things for you. Yes, yeah. yeah. it's very yes. convenient. Yeah. So that's just like and a tip. And the driver was like arguing with the first Yes, person. and they're like more, you know, they could well, talk to first, their people. Yeah. Because <laughs> once they hear our accent, it's over. It's over. You can't negotiate anything. Yeah. But the driver, they're like local here, so. They can help you like, get stuff and navigate. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little tidbit. <laughs> I'm almost done with my makeup, and then I have to figure out what I'm wearing. Okay, so got dressed in a rush, of course, um, and now I'm on the way to the brunch. And who's late, of course? You. Me. <laughs> Jen is also here. Hi. She was like rushing me too. She was like, I really want to hear the conversation because it's gonna be like a panel conversation. So we're on our way there. I hope we don't run into traffic. So I think. Okay, yeah, so we're basically five minutes away. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Every assignment, shit, man. One, two, one, two. Welcome, everybody. For the people that understood the assignment and came early, welcome. Thank you. Oh, goodness. Now, before we really start, we would like for you to go over to the photo wall, get your photos in. Yo, 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 yo. So, meet Nas, guys, one of the other founders of PDO. Positive vibes only. Big, big fella energy. <laughs> big fella energy. And I can't wait to eat. I know, right? <laughs> jello, like that jello. To the walls. Ah. <laughs> So this is Chi, you guys should already know her. From the Utah vlog, from Columbia vlog. We've been around the world. Been around now we're in Lagos. <laughs> now we're in Lagos, baby. So anyway, what do you think about the event? Which one? This one. <laughs> <laughs> it was how blank your face was. You said, which one? The event was super cute. The setup was really nice. And yeah. Like the panel discussion, the Q&A, the yeah. debates. It was like, oh, it was very engaging. It was and really like, engaging. It wasn't just sit down and like eat food and go. Yeah. Yeah. And that was really nice. Yeah. It was a really, really cute event. Yeah. They're even doing networking right now. Yeah. And then there's like a rooftop like party thing upstairs. So yeah, it was nice. Hello. Okay, we are back from the evening or the day. The day. Okay, so PBO brunch was actually really, really nice. I don't think they've actually seen me here. This is Abby Guys, founder of Alewa TV, a production company, media company based in New York City, right? Yes, we are. Okay, right. I'll link them down below. <laughs> yes, we're out here. Yes. But yeah, wasn't it really nice? It was a lot. No, it was really nice. There was like really good conversation. They had like breakout questions. So it was like a regular panel discussion. But then they had like a section where you did like a breakout session where they asked you questions and then within your table you would answer it and then somebody had to speak for the group or your table. Um, they had me speak, of course. I was actually so nervous. I was having heart palpitations. I was. Yes, I was really nervous. But then, because we were last, I had enough time to like calm down. Because, whoo, Jesus, I was actually really nervous. But anyway, 
overall it was a really good time um they actually also are having an after party which has started but i decided to come home because i felt like i wasn't like dressed for an after party so we came back we're just gonna decompress charge our phones get some wi-fi because i don't actually have like any i didn't get a hotspot this time which i don't know oh actually i know i, I did it because um i left my wi-fi back in the u.s and i'm not buying another one because that's like 60k i'm not doing it but the t-mobile 3g has been like it's enough like you'll get text through but i can't like post stories or anything like that and you know i'm trying to keep people updated I need to post these stories. Yeah, so we just came home to decompress and then we're gonna head back to PVO in a bit But first we gotta eat. All right, so we got some tea here with lemon and honey because we have to get this immune system up Okay, we have a, a night It's giving we're gonna go out tonight even though I definitely said I wasn't going to go out tonight. <laughs> the vibe's actually really nice today, so Let's see. All right guys, so This is the oh. updated outfit of the evening of the night. I'm actually so tired. <laughs> I just got so tired. <laughs> like it, it goes in phases. I'm sure I'll yeah. catch a second win soon. Man, I'm tired right now. But anyway, we're okay, we're about to head out back to PVO. We're gonna eat something first and then we're there for the night. And that's it. So have a good one. Bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, y'all. So just waking up from last night's festivities, which were really, really fun. It was actually a really good time. PBO, the brunch, the after party was 10 out of 10. We only went to one nightclub after. <laughs> Just one. We're starting to become negotiations. You know, we're very selective about where we go. I promised you guys an Airbnb tour, so let me show you guys the place that I'm staying at. So when you walk in, you've got this really pretty living room. How cute. I mentioned that we had a cleaner and a house girl, so those are them there, and you guys will meet them. So there's three bedrooms here. So there's the first one here, it's like a smaller bedroom. And then that's where Blessing, our house lady is staying. When you walk in this way, you've got the kitchen area. There's an upstairs, that's where all the bedrooms are. Well, there's like two bedrooms. And then we've got Numi here. Hey, Numi. And then we have our house. Blessing, say hi to the camera. <laughs> you know Mr. Man, I didn't get your name off. Morris. Mr. Morris. Hi, Mr. Morris. He's Mr. Morris. Fed. Yes, he's been keeping us so fed. He cooks so well. So let me show you guys upstairs, adjacent rooms. Um, don't mind it. It's kind of messy right now, but they're really spacious. This one has like an open closet. Look at look, look, look at all my stuff. Just look at. So then this is the second bedroom, or I guess third. So this one has a full-length mirror in it, whereas the other one doesn't. And then this one has another walk-in closet, but it's like tucked in the corner. And then the bathroom. But what y'all gonna notice about this bathroom is there is no mirror yet. So I genuinely think they just finished building this place. Actually, they're not finished. <laughs> I think they like quickly, you know, put it together because when we did get here, there were definitely like a few kinks and quirks. Like I said, you know, one only one of the rooms has a full length. I, I honestly think they're gonna put one here. You know what I mean? They just haven't done it yet. When I first got here, I was like, why is everything falling apart? But I don't know, what is this, our third or fourth day here now? And the energy is good here. I still feel comfortable here, so. I'm gonna link the Airbnb just in case you guys were thinking about it. It is definitely, I think, on the a little bit of the expensive side it's more luxury just for information if you want to check it out I'll, I'll link it down below what is our plan for today so today it is 1 p.m. we slept in because please can I come out to myself we have lunch with a friend and then there's palm wine fest but apparently that's like a little later I'm not gonna lie though y'all I'm tired of traveling I kind of want to cut my, my trip short <laughs> like I don't know I don't know like it's fine but it's also like damn anyway I just have to start working out and like get back into a routine here so I don't feel too out of whack when I get back home. Cause it's a bit much. I'm gonna be here for a little bit for sure. So we are ready. She is here and Anit's here. Where are we on our way to? Miliki. What's Miliki? Like it's like a- it's like a members only club, almost like a Soko house. Okay, so- Like the like version of it. 
Okay, so yeah, should be a really cute members only place that we're going to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we were just talking about how I need property out here. Like, I'm even upset that I have to give somebody else Airbnb money when I should be collecting my own Airbnb money. So, Mimi, we need to go look at places. Literally. We need to find who's the plug? Who can take us around? Because I'm like, I'm gonna ask my cousin. Because I actually want to get some stuff. Or what we could do is like we could get a really good big place and pool our money and put it into that. Two hours later. All right, y'all. So we just left Miliki. Yeah, Miliki. Miliki. It didn't really click that it was like a members only thing, so there was like no photography or anything like that. So I couldn't like you know get some really good footage. But the place was actually really cute. Food was good. Food was amazing. Food was really good. It was really nice, and the drinks. We're really like get the if you ever go there, Ooh, get, get the, the high, high society. society. Ooh, ginger. What else is it in? Lychee or something like that. G it was rum or gin and yeah. then ginger and something, but it was so good. It definitely got me. Oh, got me good. This girl started sleeping. <laughs> this girl took three sips of a drink and strong. started sleeping as we were having conversation. It was strong and I didn't eat, so I just kind of. But I know the conversation was good. <laughs> <laughs> I was putting in my inputs like spiritually. <laughs> Listen, one thing about Chi, this girl could sleep. It was a really good time. Definitely check it out. If you know somebody that has a membership, go girl. It's really nice. Yeah. So now, what are we doing? We are taking a midday break. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go do my hair. This girl's yeah. doing her hair. Chill. I got gonna chill out and mm. I'm, we're gonna text and see what's going on. Do but you, your I hair, is it not gonna hair. take time? No, so you know this is already a, this is already so long. You know what take time is the braiding, also I'm taking this off to sew on new hair. I'm not like redoing so it. So three hours. No, no, I didn't say it already took like an hour. It was like an hour and a half. Yeah. Oh. Like, yeah, because she just sewing it on. Because she That's has it. the ha like the it's been all the braids. Yeah, everything. Yeah. It's just that I'm changing the quality of the hair because it's a little like <laughs> you know I mean you can't run your hair. Like you run your hands hand through the hair. It's stuck here. It's stuck here. That's so what type of hair you got, girl? Cause this one's smooth. <laughs> I can't you confirm that my hair is unsmooth? No! You said that. I didn't say there was anything wrong with your hair. This one's hair. Yeah, we'll be taking a midday break and then probably reconvene. Reconvene for palm wine or something. We'll see. This evening, you guys need to. What? Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> First of all, guys, how cute is this living? Look at the, look at the table. Yeah, we're just chilling here, waiting for Chi to do her hair, finish her hair. She's almost done. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's that time of the month. It started today. I used to be very good at taking pictures and all of that, but now I'm not. I should be okay in a few. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, 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 morning. Welcome back to yet another day in Lagos, Nigeria. The sun is shining bright. I look tired because who was out till 5 a.m. last night? Me. What is today? Today is Monday. Today is Monday the 27th. I officially have to check out of this Airbnb. I'm gonna be staying at a boutique hotel here in Lagos. It's called Nordic Hotel. So I'm gonna be staying there for the next two nights, just, you know, just to get a different vibe. It's a really, really pretty hotel, so I'm excited to go there. And I think I've decided to extend my stay a little bit. I was supposed to leave on the 29th. Well, actually, I was supposed to leave on the 29th to go to the village, back to the east. Cause you know, Igbo, Igbo people, it's like tradition. We like go back to our villages. Um, let me know in the comment section below if like your culture does that too. I'm also supposed to go to the east on 29th, but I kind of want to stay here to the 31st and then go to the east. You know what I mean? Like I just, I just kind of want to be here for a little bit longer. <laughs> I still want to do crossover in the east. So as in crossover for the new year. So yeah, we'll see if that happens. First things first, I have to pack up all my stuff and I also need to see if I can consolidate my luggage so that I can only take one, what is the word, one luggage with me? Like a luggage and a carry-on. That way it does, it's not overweight because I'm taking a local flight. Most of them only allow like 30 kg total, which is so annoying. Or 23 kg, something like that, which is like 52 pounds or something. So yeah, I'm gonna try and see if I can only take one, which I don't know how that's gonna happen to be honest. That's, <laughs> I may just be lying to myself. We're actually so sad because we were in a d bit of a dilemma yesterday. We were trying to see if we could extend our stay because I'm here with Numi as well. We were trying to see if we could extend our stay at this Airbnb, but then they raised the price on us. <laughs> 
they raised the whole price on us and it was just like you know this place is cute don't get me wrong but it was already expensive and then to just raise the price when we're trying to you know extend our stay it was just like no so we'll probably find another airbnb for after the 29th yeah, it's actually really sad because we were comfortable here this kind of became home but whatever anyway so after i pack up this stuff i need to get dressed i broke my nail so i have to go get it redone and then i kind of want to go to the bank and like get my nigerian account situated because i was using i created a nigerian account access with the access bank but child it is so i don't even know what i did <laughs> so i want to figure that out Actually, I think I'm gonna shower first. Let me shower, do everything, and then I'll pack all my stuff. Hello, hello. Okay, so I got dressed, I have got packed, and now I am at Lady Biba. So this is a women's contemporary wear, workwear work wear yeah. brand. They're based here in Lagos, but you guys ship worldwide? Yes. We're also we're online on, in the U.S. So oh, okay. The US where we can. Oh, nice. Okay, so they have an online store, which I'll link down below. So you can purchase it, and they ship worldwide. Everyone in the world. This is <laughs> Angela. Hi, Angela. Uh, what's your role with the Okay, company? so I'm the head of sales and marketing. Okay, yeah. so yeah, they're just showing me around. <laughs> I'm about to try some clothes on. Um, and I'm excited because you guys know I love clothes. <laughs> So I just tried on all of the outfits and I've picked my top three. You guys saw it already. The purple dress, frill dress, and the two-piece crop top. But yeah, you guys should definitely check out Lady Biba if you guys are not only in the Lagos area, but just all around. Like I said, I'll leave their link to their website um, in the description box. So And they ship worldwide. So <laughs> get into it, okay? All right. <laughs> Actually, you need photos here? Get your photos. This is the place. Wow, <laughs> it's the change for me. Okay, so I just finished up at um, Slow, a beautiful restaurant like I mentioned before. And I just got back to my hotel and time to get some content, okay? So I wanna go to the pool side, get a cute little pool look. I'm wearing a foray. This is like a cute, cute set. How cute? Like what? She is here. Yes, look at this. First off, she brought, how many outfits did you bring? Just, just four. Just four. <laughs> just four. <laughs> and this is our photographer of the day. Please introduce yourself. I know, uh, yeah. Huh? I didn't even properly introduce you guys. This is cheesy, cheesy. Okay, so you guys. Yeah, we'll continue for the calm. Yeah. She is gonna take her one photo and then I will take my bathing suit photo and I think I'm done. Honestly, I don't think I want another photo. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. <laughs>
I feel like this vlog is all over the place. I'm gonna try and reel it back in, okay? Actually, today's technically my last day here. Today's Thursday, and I travel to the East tomorrow on Friday. So today is just maintenance day. I took my hair out, um, or I took my braids out. I got it washed and blow dried at a salon. I actually went to Wash and Go. It's in Lecky. It's a great natural hair salon, okay? It was actually really lovely. I felt like the ladies handled my hair with so much care. Um, and it was fairly inexpensive to wash my hair. Well, for braid, braid takedown, it was $800. I mean, <laughs> $800. 800 Naira for every 30 minutes, but because I had that bob, it literally took less than 30 minutes to take down. Plus three girls helped take it down. Um, so yeah, and then just to wash and blow dry my hair was like 4,300 Naira, which is like, I'm gonna say like, I don't know, $20, something like that, something like that, which is not that bad. I'm at my hotel and Hawa is here. So she is, she's my braider girl, okay? Anytime I want my hair braided, I call. Hawa because I like how she does hair. It's not tight and it's like, I just like it. So I'm gonna get my hair braided and then probably have dinner tonight, like last hoorah dinner, probably go out tonight. So I have to make sure to pack up all of my stuff. Since I'm going to the east, I'm only gonna take one luggage and I have to make sure it's less than 23 kg just to make sure I'm not paying excess luggage because no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I will be back. I'm gonna probably do some knotless braids can y'all tell I'm tired by my voice? Yeah, anyway. So yeah, catch you guys. The next morning.